Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. I want to talk about getting audio into the pocket. And what I mean by audio into the pocket is it's possible within Studio One just to quantize the audio and get it time corrected on a grid. That's, that's useful sometimes, but the trouble with that is it doesn't always sound very musical. And I have another way that I use, which is manual. It doesn't take that long. What it enables you to do is to get stuff in the pocket. What I mean by in the pocket is if you were playing with a band on a stage or a band together in a studio, you'd be looking at each other and you'd be dropping on certain beats together. You'd be nodding. And I played in a band live for over 10 years and you'd just be looking at one another. The problem sometimes is that if you're sending audio to one another or you're not in the same room and things like that, you don't get that feel. So what you can do with uh, the bend audio and using bend markers is to get audio into the pocket and it's pretty straightforward. So what I've got here, I've got three parts. I've got a bass part, I've got a funk part, funky drum part, and I've got a, a piano part using the new E-Instruments uh, Session uh, Electric Piano, the new Rhodes. And what I'd like to do is get them all in the pocket. And that won't take as long as it sounds doing it manually. So as I say, what you could do if you wanted to, I could, let's come up first to this bass guitar. First, let's hear it. Now it's pretty much in time. There's a couple of places where it definitely needs a bit of fixing. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to do it. Now the first thing you want to do is to establish some bend markers. Now bend markers are used when you're doing it automatically as well as when you do it manually. And if we select our audio and we hit this I here, the bend marker, and then analyze it, you see all these lines are put in. And basically if we move the threshold up and down, you'll have less lines or more lines. I don't need that many for this first part of the the track. So I'm just going to go through and just take it to about there. Now what you could then do, of course, is you could choose a quantize value, 160, and press apply, and it would apply it. So that bass is now in time, but it's still not in the pocket with the drums. You hear that? Boom, boom, boom. So let's undo that and go back to this. Now I'm going to choose the bend tool, F7. I'm going to zoom in, and if we have a look at the timeline now, we can see there there's a problem, and there there's a problem. And there it's really off, it's not hitting. And we want that to hit and be in the pocket. So the first thing I want to do as well is I want to turn snap off. Because if I have snap on, it's going to snap it to the nearest grid point. I don't want to do that. What I want to do now is I want to make sure that my bend markers are free to move around. Now let me just explain bend markers for a moment. The best way to understand this is imagine a piece of wood and you have three nails in it and you have an elastic band stretched around them. So basically, if I if I grab the elastic band and stretch it from one of the nails, the other two nails hold the hold their position. Now, if these bend markers weren't in position, so I undo the bend marking for a second, and I put my own one in. Now, the minute I start to move this, everything from the right and the left of that moves around. And the way the bend markers work is that that pins that one and that one. So when I move this one, it stays in place. That's how bend markers are working. So let me just get that all set up again, analyze that, threshold it up a bit. It's about right for what I want. Okay, let's go in now, let's have a look. I'm gonna start moving stuff around. So this one is not in the pocket. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna grab this bend marker, F7, and move that to there. This one is slightly out as well. Put that up to there. Now, as we go through, you'll see that the more we move, that's gone green again. That denotes whether it's been pushed or pulled. You can make it longer or shorter. Longer, shorter. Let's just pull that one there and that one there. So listen to that now. And as you go through, you just find them pull them into place. That might need a bend marker there. Let's have a listen to that. There, we're going to put one in there. Boom. Bosh. You see, as I put it in, it puts it back into place as well. And there's where I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put that in. You see above, you can see the grid marks, actually. As you put that into there, that one into there. Now it's all obviously to taste, so you just move them around as you want them to sit in the pocket. That needs one there.
slightly early, slightly late. As you can see, it doesn't take that long just to go through and manually do this. I think now we're pretty close. Let's put one in there, pull that out to there. So I think now, so as you can see now we have that in the pocket and nice. Now let's go to the piano and again remember the drums are our deciding factor on all of this. So we're going to come here to this as well, I'm going to grab that, bend markers, analyze them, don't need a lot on this, I'm really going to just grab the main hero events of that as I'd call it. So let's go and have a look at the piano now. Actually I need to put one in there. So back to our Ben marker tool or F7 on your keyboard. That goes to there. This comes back a tad. Now what you can also do of course is you can you can change the musicality just by forcing stuff around yourself. I'm just going to go through quickly and just get the piano in the pocket. There's one there. It's okay anyway. There. So listen to the piano. Might just force that just by pulling it back a bit just to let it drop early. And that's the other way you can use this music is you can you can actually move the events around to make things lazy or pushy. So that that could drop late. That a bit like there, and that could drop late now. But of course, that's slightly more extreme than it needs to be, but you get the point anyway. So, turn the bend markers off on that one, and off on that one, and we have it. There we go. Performance in the pocket using Ben Markers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.